Salah Al Hashimi joins me now from London. Salah, thanks so much for coming in on the show. Uh, first of all, what is the significance of this attack on the Iranian consulate in Najaf? Thank you for having me. Um, it is extremely significant simply because Najaf is not an ordinary city. It is a city that is holiest to Shia Islam. And as we all know, uh, the Iranians are mainly Shiites uh, by religion. And therefore, this could be um, a signal that um, Iranian visitors to the holy shrines in the city are no longer welcome, at least until such time that the hostilities um, um, uh, cease. Um, I think um, also what we need to point out is uh, we cannot definitively say that it is the protesters who did this because the Iraqi government is known to have used or they have been accused to have used imposters within the demonstrators, uh, ones who are wearing civilian clothes and who are acting um, in a very violent manner. Now that um, uh, is contrary to what the demonstrators or the principles of the demonstrators that have been repeated time and time again, that they are peaceful. And therefore, one cannot conclusively conclude that the demonstrators were responsible for what happened yesterday. Um, albeit, even if there were uh, some demonstrators who did this, uh, nobody can deny that a few bad apples will exist in a massive group such as uh, one that com composes of the demonstrators. And therefore, um, I don't think one could immediately blame all of the demonstrators for the sad incident that happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. Salah, where are we heading uh, here? Is this leading to a full-scale sectarian violence in the region? Well, first of all, I don't think it's sectarian because um, the uh, south, south of Iraq is mainly Shia populated. And um, uh, the security forces and the government it does have a Shia majority. Um, it, if anything, it could be an ethnic uh, violence between uh, Persian and Arab. Because um, recently, the New York Times have revealed that the uh, Iranian government has a great influence and a great interference upon the Iraqi government. That has caused a huge big outcry within Iraq because it used to be rumors circulating that Iran interfered in Iraq's affairs. Now we have evidence and documentation which proves it. And therefore, uh, one can understand that there's a huge big discontent and anger against the Iranians. One cannot, of course, condone and accept the burning down of buildings, but um, one cannot also rule out um, government involvement. Um, so we are heading towards very dangerous times, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, what has the Iranian re reaction been? Can we expect them to retaliate? Well, um, uh, I think there already are. They have been, the Iranians have been accused of uh, mobilizing their militias within Iraq to um, commit acts of violence against the demonstrators. By the way, this is probably what partly caused what happened yesterday, because there are rumors coming out of, of, of ira sporadic Iranian involvement, either directly or indirectly, directly, i.e. via leaders directing uh, the security forces or um, 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 militias who are either armed, funded or trained by the Iranians, causing some of the violence behind uh, Iraqi security lines. So the retaliation against those who have risen against the government is already taking place. What might happen is an, is an escalation of that, i.e. a more open interference, uh, possibly the likes of which we have seen in Syria. So I don't think the Iranians are quite ashamed of um, interfering in other states' affairs. They will also claim that it is the Iraqi government who is democratically elected um, has invited them. Nevertheless, they don't they don't consider that uh, the Iraqi people uh, largely have come out into the streets to denounce and withdraw any mandate for this government. And therefore, any decision uh, that this government makes will no longer be recognized by the people, particularly the, the demonstrators. Mm -hmm. Salah al-Hashimi, thanks so much for that insight for us, live for us from London.